it's one of the most inhospitable places on our planet. Temperatures range from minus 87 to 15 degrees. It's the windiest continent, less rainfall than the Sahara. Despite this, it's home to thousands of penguins who have adapted to live in this harsh environment. So how do we study the Antarctic and all its secrets? Penguins are flightless birds that are highly adapted for the marine environment. They're excellent swimmers and can dive to great depths. Their shape enables extreme agility underwater. The feet and tail act as a rudder, while the flippers act as propellers. They also have a waterproof coat of short, overlapping feathers and a well-developed layer of fat for insulation. There are nearly 20 different species of penguins that live in the Southern Hemisphere, but only four that live in Antarctica. Other species live on the islands of the Southern Ocean, including South Georgia and Heard Island. Penguins are a species that need cold water to survive and are particularly sensitive to global changes. Therefore, global warming is having a huge impact on them. Sea ice along the Western Antarctic Peninsula is shrinking in size. This is harming emperor penguin chicks and adults. They rear their chicks on landlocked sea ice. When the sea ice breaks up before their chicks have matured and grown their waterproof feathers, chicks that are swept into the ocean are likely to die. Also, with reduced sea ice, they're at risk from sharks and leopard seals. Adelie penguins build their nests from pebbles on the shores free of ice and snow. With the increase in temperature, more snow is falling. Adelie penguin populations are disappearing rapidly because they cannot find snow-free ground for nesting. In the Southern Ocean, ocean warming and the melting of sea ice are linked to the decline of the penguin's major food supply, Antarctic krill. Krill graze on algae that grow on the bottom of the sea ice. The survival of krill is key to the survival of Antarctic penguins. The loss of ice leads to the loss of krill. This has led to the decline in certain species who feed on krill. The collection of data is critical in informing scientists as to the impact of climate change on our environment. Sail drone, an unmanned vehicle powered by the wind and sun, is able to collect a level of data that humans would find almost impossible to achieve. The innovative design is non-disruptive and completely silent because there is no engine on board. Sail drone takes measures in a number of important areas which give scientists the information they need in order to work out how our environment is changing. By tagging penguins, they can be followed and data can be collected. The length of time between leaving a breeding ground to hunt for food and returning can be measured. This time indicates the ease or difficulty the penguin has in securing food. It'll be possible to explore how climate change is impacting on both feeding and breeding habits. Researchers project that a one degree centigrade rise in sea surface temperature could result in a further 95% reduction of krill. By monitoring sea temperatures and measuring krill, the impact that the rising sea temperature is having on krill populations can be analyzed. Statistics is the study of the collection, organization, analysis, interpretation and presentation of data. It also includes describing mathematical relationships between variables and presenting these to an audience in a way that best conveys meaning. By collecting data about the penguins, experts can analyze and interpret the data in a variety of forms. Observations and predictions can be made, which inform decisions as to how climate change can be tackled. The Antarctic may be inhospitable and remote, but it's an extremely fragile and delicate ecosystem. Researchers fear that global warming and consequently climate change will impact primarily on the Antarctic species and that the decline of their populations will continue to be unsustainable. Collecting accurate, up-to-date data on the feeding patterns of penguins is a way of monitoring climate change and preserving this pristine ecosystem. <laughs>